Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. President Obama goes into preacher mode on health care, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The battle continues, as you know, between the Obama administration and those Americans who oppose big government health care. This week, the president made an appeal to religious people saying it is a moral obligation to provide health care to those who don't have it and criticizing those who oppose his plan. There's been a lot of misinformation in this debate, and there are some folks out there who are frankly bearing false witness. These are all fabrications that have been put out there in order to discourage people from meeting what I consider to be a, a core ethical and moral obligation, and that is that we look out for one another. Talking Point somewhat agrees with the president. Americans should look out for each other. But there are smart ways to do that and not so smart ways. President Obama's health care vision is confusing. It may also bankrupt the nation, and that does not sound smart to me. The American people do not want to invest trillions of dollars in a big government program. That is confusing. That would be insane. If President Obama could articulate exactly how the trillion-dollar investment would help all of us, I believe he might succeed in his quest to make health care more accessible to all. Americans are a generous people. We give more money to the poor than any other country on earth. But if you harm the fundamental economy of the nation, you're hurting far more people than you're helping. And that is what the president does not seem to understand. It is a fact that since the president has been in office, the United States has spent more money than at any other time in history. And now he wants another trillion dollar entitlement. The president says in the long run it will be cost efficient. But the Congressional Budget Office says baloney. So Americans are rightly skeptical. Now today, a Pew study states that just 49% of Americans hold a favorable view of the Democratic Party. That's down from 62% last winter. The bottom line, while government spending is many Americans very concerned. Once again, Talking Points does not oppose improving the nation's health care system, but it can be done in a smart way with strict federal oversight on insurance companies, more competition, and tax breaks for folks and employers who buy health insurance. The far left doesn't want to hear that because those loons want income redistribution and see government-run health care as a way to do that. But clear-thinking Americans understand this whole deal is screwed up. The country needs a fresh start on health care. 